amigos que se están conectando, discúlpenme que no sé qué dificultad me está dando mi teléfono y ya me tardé como dos minutos más de lo que pensé. Pero muchas gracias por acompañarnos, no sé si escuchen la música de fondo, pero hoy tenemos una banda de invitados súper chida, uh, es Ricky and the Goons. Y ya los voy a dejar que se conecten para que empecemos la entrevista y pues ya saben, este Instagram es en inglés, así es que pues... Uh, para los que estamos aprendiendo inglés para practicarlo y para los que ya sabemos para conocer bandas súper chidas que uh, uh, son de acá de, de hablantes de inglés. A ver. Hi. Hello. Can you hear us okay? Hello. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have all of you on the on the video <laughs> yeah <laughs> sorry we're like getting we're getting situated here i'm trying to make sure we can see no everybody. no don't worry at all i'm sorry because i usually go on right at nine and my phone was being weird it was like not letting me go live for some reason <laughs> so. that's weird I, i wouldn't know <laughs> yeah so thank you so much for being here tonight let me know when you're ready are you guys situated um yeah Maybe we can adjust it just a little bit more. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. Let's sit down, everyone. Okay. All right. Yeah. This is yeah, awesome. We're good. Awesome. I'm so excited, like I said, to have y'all here. I've been listening to your music, and um, I don't know. I get, like, a really, like, fun, like, chill vibe from it. So I'm really excited to, like, talk to y'all and kind of see what your influences are and the fact that you've got a panda that you're fostering. I love that. Um, I think that you guys are doing great work for the world because it is an endangered species. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. So thank you We very much for being here with us tonight. Everyone listening, this is uh, Ricky Ray and the Goons. So <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to go around and introduce yourselves, maybe names, what you do in the band, whatever, whatever else identifiers you want to plug in. <laughs> So, okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. So, to my right, I guess y'all's y'all left, this is Efren. He's on lead guitar. Uh, to my left, we got Ruben on bass. This is actually my brother. Uh, at the very back, we have Ivan. He plays drums. Ivan. A. And then finally, we got Panda. Yep. And then, of course, I am Ricky Ray. Um, Panda plays keyboard. Ruben plays bass. Ivan plays drums. I'm not sure if I said that. Awesome. Thank you so much for that intro for introducing yourselves. And thank you, like I said, once again, for being here with us tonight. And tell us a little bit more about yourself. So I know that you're based out of Texas. Um, you know, and that you've been making music, to my knowledge, um, from the preliminary stalking that I did <laughs> in preparation for tonight. Um, yeah. It looks like since 2019, y'all have been playing shows, but you started putting music on Spotify in 2020. So just um, maybe you've been doing music for longer. Tell us all about that. Um, I know it's been a weird year um, yeah, for yeah. musicians and music lovers <laughs> and for everyone, We, really. But yeah, tell us all well, about that. I, you know, I was just telling uh, one of my friends the other day, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna say we've been playing for a year because I'm just gonna ignore that 2020 happened. I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen because uh, we weren't able to do a whole lot of shows and things for that. <laughs> so I was just like, let's just say a year. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so, but we started. We started like at the end of 2018 is when we when we started getting together and like practicing songs. Uh, we had our first gig at the end of 2018, I believe, in December. And uh, and then after that, you know, we started picking up shows all over 2019. Uh, man, we I don't know. We've been we've been through a lot. Uh, recording took forever as well. <laughs> I think maybe it took us like what? How long did it take us to record? Like a year? almost a year. <laughs> uh, we're we're gonna record the next one a lot faster. <laughs> So 2019 was a good year for y'all um, when it comes to shows and getting your music out there? Yeah, yeah, 2019 was, uh, was a really good year to us. Uh, 2020, not so much. <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> Have you guys been um, 
throughout this last year, I know there hasn't been live shows or anything, but have you guys been working on something for, and, and maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. I usually ask that question towards the end, like, what can we look forward to? But I mean, I'm already here. So are you guys, um, have you guys been working on stuff? I know a lot of artists are like, oh, we're locked up. So we're getting creative. But then I've also met people that are like, I haven't been creative. This year has been exhausting. I'm drained. So <laughs> have you no, guys been, yeah. are you guys getting ready to release stuff? Yeah, we new, are. Uh, new stuff, of course, like. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, so, well, in regards to live shows, we got two live shows lined up. One uh, in this Saturday, actually, and then one at the beginning of May. Uh, as for music, we've been working on a, on a new album already. Um, uh, we have, we're almost done with the album. I don't, I don't want to say exactly how many songs we have, but we're pretty close to having enough songs for a whole other album. And then we're going to start recording and push that out ASAP. Uh, but all the new songs that we have, we're really excited to share them. Um, we're actually playing them this Saturday. I know you're in Chicago. If you, could, if you were here, you would have been able to listen to them. Yeah, and that's what I'm like. I'm, I'm upset because I didn't, discover, I didn't discover your music in 2019 when you guys were doing live shows. Because even if you're not in a city near me, I will travel for music. <laughs> Oh wow! So well, like, I mean, now I'm looking forward to you know when when we can be in crowds again. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, if if you wanted to help us get a gig in Chicago, oh, we'll, I'll talk to we'll, I'll talk we'll to the other people on this podcast see if we can get that done. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks. That would be that would be awesome. I love That's Chicago. So I have a lot of family in Chicago too. So, uh, yeah, like my my dad was uh, raised in Chicago. So, yeah. Awesome. So you've got that connection mm -hmm. with Chicago. Well, that's cool. Like I said, I got ahead of myself. So let's go back. Let's talk about the album you released in 2020. Because I mean, it, it's, it hasn't been that long. Um, yeah. Tell us about that album. Um, I know I saw that you had released just singles before that. So is that your first full length album um, that you guys have released as a band? Yes, that was our first album. The, the first single we released was Do You Ever Wonder, uh, which was actually an old song that i had written back in high school so i had actually written that song back in 20 2010 and uh i i had released it uh onto like soundcloud way back when and a lot of people loved it but i never like got around to playing it with a full band or nothing like that so i had moved to san marcos for school for college and when I came back to Dallas and I started putting together the band, I was like, this is it. I already got this song ready to go. People love it. And I already know it's going to be a hit. So that was the first song we started working on. That's the first song we recorded and released. And, and it was also the, song that got, the first song that got a music video. Uh, and so that, that Do You Ever Wonder is like, it was, it was our first one. And, you know, we really like it. <laughs> Still my favorite. Cool, cool. So you're you're telling us your that song was you started it or you uh, wrote it in 2010. So that's yeah. kind of like throwing it back a lot. Um, and that I guess that kind of leads me to my next question: How did you guys form? Um, like, so it's Ricky Ray and the Goons. So it sounds like you've been making music. I want to know. I guess this is a lot of questions in one. So. So are tell you, me to are you asking like how we came I, up with the band name? Yeah, well, yeah, that's one. And I want to know, um, you know, how, when did you guys actually get together? You say you've been making music together since 2018, and yeah, the, why the why the name? And also, like the creative process. Is it usually just? Is it you mostly? How do you guys all come together? Okay, uh, I'll start off with the the band name question. Uh, the band name question is actually kind of funny. I know I've told it to these guys a couple of times that they probably forgot it. Uh, yeah. So I'll go ahead and say it again. Okay, so the, the band name, I actually came up with it in college uh, because uh, I was hanging out with some friends and, uh, you know, some mutual friends of theirs. And this one guy, I'm not going to say his name, but this one guy was, nope. was getting angry with one of my friends and they were getting into it. And I was, I was like, told him to back off, you know, uh, we we separate, and then a few days later, uh, that same guy meets up with one of my mutual friends. They're hanging out, and my friend's like, hey, I'm going to invite some of my other friends to come over and hang out with us. 
And the guy that I have, I was arguing with, he was like, all right, that's fine. As long as it's not Ricky and his goons. And I was like, and my friend told me this, he told me this story and I was like, dude, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool name. And so I was like, I want to stick with that. I really like that. Like I, he meant it as an insult, but when I heard it, I was like, that sounds dope. I like that. <laughs> sounds like you have street cred. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Um, and then, um, as for when we started getting together, I was, um, so when was this back in, I guess it was 2018 and 2018, yeah, in 2018, I was living in Cedar Park over there by Austin. And um, I had already known I was coming back to Dallas. I was living with uh, my fiance in Cedar Park at the time. And she, uh, she was working over there. That's why we were in Cedar Park. And so, but we already knew we were coming back to Dallas and I knew I wanted to start a band already. So I was like, okay, I want to get ahead of the curve. I want to start finding band members and and start working on stuff so what i had to do i think i was doing it for like three months i was driving from cedar park to dallas every single weekend i was making a, a it was like a three and a half hour drive every weekend just to go and search for band members and of course the first band member i found was my brother because my brother's been playing bass for a That's very a long time it was this guy over oh here. you're right it was Efren. <laughs> uh, okay <laughs> okay no yeah, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> no yeah no yeah he's right i should be insulted because i wasn't your first band member <laughs> So, okay, no, yeah, I just remembered that. So Efren was the first band member because uh, I was, Efren had a home studio and I was hanging out with him and he was like, dude, I play guitar, let's do this. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. Sorry, am I allowed to curse or should yeah, I avoid curse? Yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. so, hello. <laughs> And so, and so me and Efren got together and we we're like, yeah, let's go. And then I was searching for, I was searching for a bassist and it, it didn't occur to me that my brother would want to be in my band. Cause I was like, ah, he probably, you know, he doesn't want to be with me. You know, he's, he's my older brother. He don't want to be with me. And then, you know, I end, I, yeah, he's too cool, whatever. And I end up finding out that, um, you know, he got his feelings hurt because <laughs> I didn't ask him. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, you know, if I, if I would have known you wanted to be in it, you would have been in it already. So, so that's how I got my brother in it. Um, Panda, Panda was the next member we got uh, as we were driving around one day. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the stories where we found him, you know, out in the middle of the road. We found him yes. as a cub. He grows up really fast. He grew up really fast. And he had a keyboard with him, and we were like, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> uh the last member we got was actually ivan on drums uh that was that was a difficult situation we we were in because we originally had another drummer he was a he's a good friend of ours he still is a good friend of ours but uh he he ran into some some issues where he was no longer able to be in the band and so we were left scrambling to find another drummer uh luckily ivan had been friends with basically well, like my brother and Efren for a while now. And so they were like, we have our friend Ivan who plays drums. We brought him in and he, he synced up with us right away. And you know, it was, it was good. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a great story. I, I loved it. I love how <laughs> there was, there was little bits and pieces for everyone. It wasn't just like, <laughs> it wasn't just like, this is how we did it. Boom. Um, I also love the, the panda. <laughs> I think that was my favorite part of it. Yeah. I think people have been commenting on it. Um, yeah, I'm just like, I'm, usually sometimes people will ask questions. I'm trying to keep up that no one has asked oh, questions. Yeah. I do see some people that I know from 
uh, Mexico Connecting. So shout out to people from Mexico. Hopefully they start listening to your music as well. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, people. I think people love the Panda. I loved it. I was like, oh, this is great. This is cool. Like I said, y'all are doing a lot of good for the world because pandas need love <laughs> and pandas need to be fostered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so what is your creative process like now that you've told me how you all came together? How do you usually go about writing the music? I know you said uh, your very first um, single from this last album was something, or not from this last album, but you know, the, the one you're talking, your first music video yeah. was something that you wrote in 2010. So how has all of that come together? Yeah, so um, a lot of our songs, um, I had written the lyrics um, and most, m most of them I created like a, like a, like a, a structure of chords I uh, brought it to the band, and I was like, hey, look, I got this chord progression. Uh, you know, what What do you think y'all can do with it? And I let them add their spices in and stuff, and they're the ones that brought the music to life, you know? Uh, there was a couple songs uh, that Efren showed me the guitar parts to. He showed me some chords, and he, he says, uh, what do you say? That something like rick, 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 he he, he shows me the chords, and he's like, Here, you can rickify them. And so, uh, and so I add my little spin onto it, and, um, and that's those are those. Like uh, I think Efren wrote the guitar parts for "Invested," and uh, there was another one. I remember. I remember, and which are two of my favorite songs, actually. Uh, I think that was what it for this one. There's sprinkles here and there. That, there's, and, yeah. You're going to be seeing some, some differences between the first album and the next album because we, we're starting to mesh together and grow together as a band, and uh, the, the, the sound is definitely changing. And, uh, but yeah. like, I, just, I think it's great. It sounds awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Excited to, I'm excited to hear that. I think a lot of people are, are like showing y'all love here. I don't know if you can see the comments. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of love being sent your way. Um, somebody, I know you already mentioned it, but somebody did ask uh, when is the next show? And we do have Sabrina uh, saying April 10th. And I know you just said it this Saturday. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Just for those that might just be now trickling in. Yeah, so uh, we got a show on April 10th, this Saturday, at a bar called Viva El Gallo. Yeah, it's right, it's right next to that, right, right next, oh, yeah. right in downtown Dallas. And uh, we're expecting a pretty big crowd, which is uh, really awesome, but it's a little scary at the same time, because, you know, we we're kind of still in this pandemic. And we're so we're I'm really look, I don't know I can't speak to the rest of these guys but I'm really excited and scared at the same time I'm just like no COVID please, <laughs> uh, but I'm, I know a lot of my friends have been reaching out to us like hey Ricky Ray when he when's the next show coming Wait. everyone's been waiting and we're just like uh, okay let's do it we got to do it and so and so we got we got this show thanks to our friend uh, DJ Big Tex. It's actually his birthday bash. That's that. That's the reason this show got put together is because it's his birthday, and so he put the show together and he told us about it. And he's like, "I want you guys to come play," and we're like, "Yes, let's do it." <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, just just do do your part by reminding everyone, like, "Hey, stay six feet apart." <laughs> no mosquitoes <Separate>. yet. <laughs> and then they're like, "We but we came together. I don't care. Separate." <laughs> yes no no wall of death or anything yet <laughs> right yeah that's awesome i'm glad you guys are getting to um to start doing that and it seems like a lot of uh your followers and your new fans are also excited to see that um like i said i'm excited you know for future stuff i'm sure your guys are gonna eventually travel to other places and do shows um once we all maybe reach herd immunity <laughs> Yeah, right. Which, I don't know, some days I'm like, that's never going to happen. And then some days I'm like, it's going to happen soon. <laughs> right. Just, just yeah, you got to stay positive, right? Just I mean, we're not totally positive. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's uh, exciting. Uh, somebody said, I want to hear from your bass guy. The bass guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they want to hear from you, Ruben. Come on. That's the way. <laughs> oh, somebody said the instrument players 
flame emojis. So I think that means y'all are hot. <laughs> Ooh, <nice. laughs> Appreciate it. Same. Are you guys doing oh, any so shows good. on streaming? Okay. Any live streaming shows? Uh, we, we, yeah, we've done, two, we did two in 2020. Um, we, we, we would like to do another one for sure. We would have to arrange that, but the two we did in 2020, the first one we did at a coffee shop called Peaberry Coffee Shop or Peaberry Cafe, Peaberry Coffee. And uh, they reached out to us and they were like, hey, let's do a live stream. And we were like, well, you know, we haven't done anything. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um, and that, that was a complete success. But the, the second live stream we did was really cool. It was a... Oh, that was this year? Oh my gosh, that was this year. <laughs> it felt like it was so cool though. It was for uh it was for it was we we found out about it via ASCAP. It was called uh Road Nation. Yeah. And Road Nation was a uh like a live streaming uh yeah, like a live streaming tour. They had bands from all over the world. Um like I think we played with like a band from like like Norway, Norway or something, Norway or something. Yeah. and oh, Australia. I think there was yeah. someone in Japan as yeah. well, and they were all really cool. And I was just like, guys, we're like representing <laughs> Texas and the United yeah. States. <laughs> we're like, we're repping right now. Yeah. And I think that stream got like twenty six, twenty nine thousand views or something like that. It was it was on Twitch. It was so cool. That's yeah. awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you guys have been doing that. I think. Um, we obviously talked to a lot of musicians on this show and on this podcast, and I feel like half of musicians have um, had a positive experience with live streaming and half have not. They're kind of yeah. like, you know, it's not the same, so I haven't even done it. It's, and <laughs> it's, it's not the same. It, it was really difficult, like, setting up because we, we didn't have all the equipment we needed, and so we were, like, scrambling trying to get – like we're like we want to sound good we we need this we need this and we're just like Efren was the one that that, had, that was doing most of the work because Efren does most of our tech tech stuff um and so uh, i feel bad for Efren because Efren was the one doing most of the work in regards to the live stream and stuff i love you. uh yeah he did a really good job though uh because everything came out of success so great that's great it sounds like it was a success yeah that's a lot of people to like get your music out there too. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see if anybody else. Everyone's in love with the bass player. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say <that> more. <laughs> the bass guy is hot. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I know I have another question on here. Oh. Like my fiance um, thinks so too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody said in Espanol, and that does lead me to another one, another question on my, in my notes. I saw a lot of your Spanish covers on your Instagram, and I, I loved them. Those are awesome. So yeah, I was thanks, wondering, thanks like, for checking them out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was wondering, I, I, like, what, like, do you have, like, um, Spanish music influences in your music? And I guess that leads me also to what are your uh, musical influences as a band, maybe individually, because I know, you know, maybe yeah. everyone has their own individual musical influence. yeah we we all have a uh, different taste for sure like uh i know so efren has been efren and i've been actually you know all of, all of these guys have been in several bands uh i think they've been in like spanish rock like metal uh some of them have even been in like norteño groups i think right i'm gonna step in because ricky is, is lucky because we're all pretty much seasoned musicians. We've been do we've been playing for a long time, so his first band or his big band that he wants to make it has nothing but really good players, except for me. Uh, <laughs> these guys are all they're like jacks of all trades. They play everything, so it's like they all have an input to just about everything. So it's kind of one of the things that helps us to create great music. Also, I'd say. Um, and then, I guess for me. Uh, I usually I'm listening to more like uh, pop, funk, alternative, indie stuff. Uh, <clears throat> so, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> um, so as for Spanish music, uh, I've 
I would really like to write in Spanish, but my Spanish is not the greatest, and my vocabulary in Spanish isn't the greatest. Uh, I know we we've talked about it with uh, amongst ourselves, like you know, like they were saying, like you know, we can write the music in Spanish, or we can write something in English and then translate it over to Spanish. Uh, it's really difficult for me to write in Spanish, though. I've tried, and I'm just like, ah, I, I really enjoy singing in Spanish, but. I I hope that one day we will have a couple of Spanish songs. Soon to come. Right, yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys heard it here first. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe in the dog. future we'll have a Ricky Ray and the Goons Spanish album. <laughs> right. Damn. Well, I hope That's so, awesome. Yeah. No, but I really, I really like, like I said, uh, the, um, the covers that I saw um, are all like, uh, like of music that I like, of bands that I like. So I was like, okay. And I kind of see it like how it meshes well with the style that I hear from you. It's kind of like that um, indie rock, but also kind of pop a little bit. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. But, um, like a lot of my influences, and people could, if people ever listen to the bass, people that do. Of course, um, everyone. It's, I'd like to say I'm probably the more poppy indie side. Like I listen to a lot of rock and roll. Well. Um, I mean, of course, the classics like Maná, Caifanes, um, Los Héroes del Silencio, um, On the Set. Yeah, On the Set. It's just, and, um, as well as English music, you know. And I like to mess it up and just kind of mix it all up and uh, come up with as crazy a bass part as I can. Um, and these guys are they're metalheads. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, we're like stopping them from just shredding all the time. Yeah, that's me. Well, we, we got we got some solos and stuff, you know, like shred, go, do it. <laughs> and then he's all like, <laughs> <laughs> "Tell us about your English uh, inspiration, like your um, I mean, influences, like your <laughs> artists that you draw influence from." Uh, I really like uh, I really like like Bruno Mars, The Strokes, Tour of Cinema Club. Um, what are, what else is there? Tame Impala, uh, stuff like that is for me. Uh, you English? Go this way. You? I honestly listen to just about everything. I mean, I listen to everything from classical to metal and everything in between. I've been around music almost my entire life, so I've I've just learned a little bit all. But yeah, I'm, I'm a metalhead at heart. Definitely. Give us a give us a metal recommendation. I used to listen to metal when I was a teenager when I had so much <laughs> angst built up inside of me. I feel like I've released that now. So I'm not right. to listen to metal, but I used to be into I don't right. know if you guys have heard like the Agonist, which is a Canadian band uh, led by a, a woman. Yeah. And yeah. she like screams and she's like, you know, yeah. she does like the screamo and I'm just like, I was in love with her. Um, also obviously like kill switch engage and stuff, but I just want to know, like, maybe that's really like vanilla for you. I want to know <laughs> your recommendation. Okay. So the the girl that fronts the agonist used to be from Arch Enemy. No, no, no. Yes, she's actually, yeah, Arch you're Enemy right. Started. She She's yeah. an Arch Enemy now. Yeah, yeah. 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 I but forgot. See, it's been that long. It's been that yeah. long for me. <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad you were familiar with that. I was like, maybe that's vanilla of me. Maybe no, I'm into like harder <laughs> stuff. No, yeah. I, I'm not familiar with it, but they, they know it. Uh, I think the first band I even recommended was uh, Gojira. 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 Okay. Uh, Mashuga. 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 Okay. I haven't heard of them. I'll, I'll check them out. I'll check them out. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> but then I then I really like Spanish music too. So I grew up listening to a lot of Spanish music and like I don't know, maybe like the eighties, late seventies stuff. So like Marcelo Redes, you know, Bronco. Yeah. Stuff like that, you know, yes. movies, you know. So yeah, I, I'm very diverse when it comes to music. I really like it I all. I feel right. that. I feel like we've got a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I, I grew up with my mom's uh, music with yeah. just, like Los Angeles Negros. I don't know if you've heard of oh, yeah. them. Like, <laughs> I see the pan. Okay, the panda knows what's panda. up. The panda knows what's up. <laughs> panda, <laughs> see. panda has been researching a lot of, you know, human history and all sorts of, because he wants to blend in as much as possible. Panda so. is cultured. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cultured panda. Let me see. Let me see what else. Because I feel like I'm missing a lot of... Um, 
the comments on here. Um, I see DJ Big Texican is saying that the, the live stream was good. People are just too spoiled here since what? the pandemic. <laughs> uh, John says we need an album soon, and we, we're going to get it, right? We just, yes, of course. Let's say, uh, canten una norteña, so people want, <laughs> want norteña for me. <laughs> um, there's a question from Ruiz C2015. How long have you guys been playing? And you guys did answer that earlier. Um, but uh -huh. if you guys want to say it again, maybe people uh, tripled it. We've, we've been playing officially three years. But... Yeah, officially three years. We started at the end of 2018. Uh, most of our shows were done in 2019. 2020 was we had the live stream. And then now we're in 2021. Awesome. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we got um, our first show of 2021 coming up soon. That's it. Either. Or be square. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I was just catching up. Uh, just lots of love being sent your way. Y'all are amazing. The guitar solos are awesome. Uh, and Dallas Dental Babe um, wants to know, does the panda speak? <laughs> uh... No, he does. has not been taught to speak yet. Very cultured and intelligent panda, but does not speak. <laughs> he, he's uh, he's quiet. Yeah, he's shy. <laughs> got it. Got it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, so you guys have told us what to look forward next. Um, if people trickled in and didn't hear like the beginning where um, you know, they were talking about um the show, they're having a show on Saturday. So if anyone didn't hear that already, they have a show on Saturday. <laughs> Um, and there is new music coming up, uh, but this will this uh, interview will be saved as an IGTV video, and it will be um, you know here on our Instagram. We're also going to put it on our YouTube channel, so if folks oh, want to follow us there, um, yeah, I think we asked we we talked about all this stuff. Do you guys is there anything else that I missed that you guys want to plug? Like any um, so you know. Everyone listening, you can definitely find them on Spotify. Please go follow them on Instagram. Um, any other places online where folks can find you that they should go look for you at? Uh, we're we're on we're on all streaming platforms. So we're on Spotify, Apple Music. Uh, we have two music videos on YouTube that you can go check out. One is "Do You Ever Wonder," and the other is "Runaway." Uh, both are awesome music videos with some backstory of uh, some funny backstory on Panda and stuff like that. So uh, that's really cool. Uh, also, I'd like to point out that we record and mix our own music. Uh, most of it's done by me and Efren. Efren has his own Instagram mi at Mixed by Beef, right? At Mixed by oh, mi oh yeah, Mixed by Beef. Mixed by Beef. Uh, if you want to follow him on Instagram, uh, so he he records other musicians and artists as well. If y'all wanted to reach out reach out to him for that, uh, but yeah, so like almost everything we've done has been like in house. Uh, <laughs> so. Yeah, and local, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I'm so glad you brought up YouTube because I was gonna, um, I just, I wanted to talk about your um, your videos. They're super fun. So folks, please go check out their YouTube channel, check out their their videos. They're super fun and you get to learn a little bit of history. Like you get to see where the panda comes in. Uh, <laughs> but also like, I feel, like I said, at the beginning of the of this interview, um, I feel like you guys just have like a really fun, um, like laid back vibe, and you can definitely hear it through through your music, but also through your videos, you can see it, and it's just it's just really fun and refreshing. I feel like it's been rough times. Twenty twenty, like you said earlier, the last year has been. I forget that it happens sometimes. Like I'm just like. I say last year and I'm still thinking 2019. So right? <laughs> like it's, it's oh, stressful, God. hard times that we're all trying to like repress <laughs> in our brains. That's, that's why so, I was saying it's just, you know, that's 2020 didn't happen. It's, it didn't happen because yeah. it was so traumatic and we're just trying to forget. So <laughs> li definitely folks listen to this music because it just like puts you in a fun, like happy mood. Uh, to me at least, I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so how would you describe your music, I guess? I don't want to be like the only one describing it. How would you describe it? Uh, whenever, <laughs> uh, I usually uh, tell people it's like uh, alternative indie rock. Uh, you know, I think I'm thinking more along the alternative side uh, or rock pop, something like that, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah, alternative pop rock. Oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> I like it. That's what I would describe it as too. But of course, like I don't want to like come in and say this is your 
what I think your music is. I always yeah. like to hear it from you. Uh, we some songs are a little different, so it's like we're we're kind of all over the place right now. Yeah. That's cool. I think um, for sure, at least I'm speaking for myself, and I think from all these positive comments you guys are getting, I think everyone's excited to see what's going to be next for y'all. Like we're excited to hear, you know, whatever new sounds you guys are going to have on the upcoming album. Um, but yeah, for sure, everyone, please go check out their stuff. Um, like I said, the Spotify, the YouTube, follow them on Instagram. Uh, folks look like they're super excited for Saturday. That's exciting. I'm jealous. I wish I was in Texas. <laughs> um, somebody said they're the new genre of our generation. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, that's so cool. Before, before we disconnect, um, I want to do, we always do this fun little activity called rapid fire questions. Ooh. And, uh, since it is multiple uh, of y'all on the, on the, um, on the live, just whoever wants to shout out the answers can, but okay. I'm going to give you 35 seconds. And if I'll just like give you like quick questions and just answer what, I, like the first thing that comes to your head, the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. And go describe what music is to you in one word. Everything. <laughs> Sunrise or sunset? Sunset. Beach or mountains? Beach. What is the most useless talent you have? Um, I, I'm good at playing Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what song do you usually sing in the shower? <laughs> he is really good. <laughs> what was that? He said he's no. I, I, he said I was really good, but I'm okay. Really, really good. <laughs> what song do you usually sing in the shower? In sync. Ooh, in sync, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, like a couple of <laughs> All right, that was time. Okay, so you guys got through five questions. That's pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, thank you guys very much uh, for joining us tonight. I think this was a really fun interview, and I hope everyone that watched it enjoyed it. And like I said, it'll be on our Instagram and our YouTube if you guys want to share it. Or if anyone here, <laughs> folks are laughing. <laughs> <laughs> they enjoyed that little rapid fire round. Uh, if you guys want to share it or anybody connected, also please share it. Please help us get the word out about Ricky Ray and the Goons. I think everyone needs to be listening to y'all. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Go follow us on Instagram. Listen to yes. our music on all streaming platforms. RTGmusic.com. Oh, yeah, we also have a website, RTGmusic.com. Awesome. Glad you guys plugged that yeah. in. <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Hope you guys have a great night and hope you guys have a great show on Saturday. Be careful. Thank and be you so much. <laughs> Bye. Bye.